Waiting impatiently. Baby blueberry plants. Blueberry! <laughs> From Stark Brothers Nursery. These are sunshine blueberries. Um, and if you don't know, me and the prophet, we're so excited we got a blueberry bed together. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description for that video. So we are gonna plant them now. We're so excited. <laughs> this is our new beginning. We don't want to stick out these beautiful little blueberry pants in the harsh Texas sun, so we're going to kind of harden them off by giving them a couple hours of sunlight uh, each day, a couple hours more each day, give them a good drink, put them in a container where they can soak up some water, and let them get used to our harsh Texas climate. <laughs> they were all wrapped up so they'll stay nice and moist during their long trip. Okay, hey, now I'll just let him get used to Texas. Our first baby. Hey you guys, Jemima has hatched out her first little chick. So we're gonna move her to the little coop so she can have a little maternity ward in private. No, nobody will pick on her babies. She's pecked at me. Oh, she's mad. you into a maternity ward. <laughs> Let's get Jemima settled. She'll settle in. You guys, we got our strawberries. Yay! Look at those little babies. There's some strawberries. They're bare root. So let's get them to soaking. Okay, you hold that. Hold the other. Yeah, hold it tight. There we go. Okay, can you believe these are going to be little red strawberries? I mean, turn into strawberry plants. Uh got a rubber band around them. Can you believe it? They might be ginger, nobody knows. <laughs> they don't look like much now, do they? You take this one and kind of gently separated them out. 
I'm gonna pour some water in here. And we're gonna kinda let them soak for a few hours while we plant our blueberries. Just gently work them, work them out, and there's one plant. And put it down in the water. And there's another one. Finally, your blueberry dreams are coming true. Blueberries! <laughs> this is the day we plant. We've hardened them off for a few days, and we've got an acid mix here. I'll leave a link to where I got it. Living Earth Technologies. All right, let's put these in the ground. They're gonna get three feet wide and three feet tall. So, why don't you dig a hole right here. Kind of far back, because we're gonna put the strawberries in, in the very front. Okay, so right, right about there, yeah. We're planting sunshine blueberries because they stay kind of small. So we weren't able to find the other blueberry that we wanted, bountiful blueberry. It's good to have two varieties for the germination. So you get more blueberries if you do two varieties. Okay. Are you whispering blueberries under your breath? Yes. <laughs> He's just going, blueberries, 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 blueberries. <laughs> Go for it. Injection of blueberry in. Blueberry injection ready to be watered. Okay, let's cover it up. There we go. Blueberries now discovered. <laughs> okay, let's plant our strawberries. Ready? All right. Well, they're coming up. Seems to be enough. Yeah. Is good, Mom? Yes. Perfect. Now warning here, strawberries don't do very good in Dallas, Texas. They just really don't like the heat. So usually you plant them in the fall in Dallas and you grow them in the springtime, you get a great harvest and then they die in this heat of the summer and you plant new ones again in the fall. So that's kind of the way that we treat them in Dallas but we're gonna try our best to keep these alive. So we're planting them by the door where they're gonna get partial shade and we can be able to keep our eyes on them. And they like an acid mix. We've got a really nice acid mix. And then my grandfather told me the secret to strawberries and blueberries. And I'll show you guys. The secret is rainwater. Our water in this area is really alkaline. Strawberries and blueberries, they like acid mix and also rainwater. Let me show you where we get our rainwater from. This is one of our three rain barrels. So we have about 170 gallons of rain stored every time it rains. So this one's gonna be for blueberries and strawberries. <laughs> I will leave a link in the video description on a video I did about how to create your own rain barrel if you want to store rainwater too and have great blueberries and strawberries. Looks like another little baby just hatched out. <laughs> what a fun weekend this is going to be.